Hey, my name is Hashim, and I'm in 12th grade, and you're watching TMA. All right, you've had day to prepare. Are you ready for your quiz on proper trick or training etiquette? Wait, that's today? Yeah. All right, first question. Uh, 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 time for the intro. Hey Titans, welcome back to TMA. I'm one half of your host duo, Ben Del Negro. I'm Roger Diaz Paz. It's Friday, October 21st, which means the end of quarter one is here. Better get on with that quiz then. I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's a pretty packed show today. We've got two packages and, you know, not that I'm scared of taking the quiz or anything, but I think we should, you know, spotlight our amazing Titans. You have to the end of the show. Make it count. <sighs> As Ben mentioned, today is a two-package show, so let's start things off with this week's installment of 60 Seconds with Sanchez. Welcome back to 60 Seconds with Sanchez. I'm Jacob Sanchez, and this is the show where we take a current event and talk about it the Sanchez way. A recent protest by a climate activism group called Just Stop Oil saw members defile a painting by famous artist and dollar store Ron Weasley, Vincent Van Gogh. They did this by throwing a can of tomato soup at it. While the painting's glass covering and left it unaffected, people speculated how doing this would stop fossil fuel use. Their justification? Van Gogh used oil paint. That's it. While their message is super important, their method needs some work. The climate crisis needs addressing. I kind of want to be alive in 50 years. But maybe throwing soup and gluing yourself to the walls isn't the answer. Did I mention they glued themselves to the walls of the gallery? I was going to write a joke about it, but I got stuck on the punchline. I'll see myself out. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching 60 Seconds with Sanchez, and we'll see you next time. Thanks to Jacob Sanchez for redeeming his weekly allotted 60 seconds of screen time. Tune in next week to see what else Jacob has on his mind. Titans, today is the last day you can get a glazed donut from Miss Rodriguez for completing your FAFSA and VASA forms. Stop on by A117 and show Miss Rodriguez a completed form to get your award. Let's see, let's see what's going on today in college visits. First, Seton Hall University visit at 8 a.m. University of Mississippi will visit at 1120. St. Vincent College at 1155. And to finish it off, Fordham University visits at 2 p.m. We're sending out birthday wishes to advanced TV media production students Lucy Saveri, who will turn 16 on the 24th, and Aiden Hill, who turns 17, also on the 24th. A reminder, Titans, we have a four-day weekend, which unfortunately means that TMA will not have a show on Monday or Tuesday. We'll see you again next Wednesday. I hope you all remembered the special task I asked of you. Titans, it is time to name my good old Skelepal over there, and we need your help. Anyone can submit a name to the Google Form link in the description. It can be as serious or comedic as you want, but don't procrastinate. The contest will run until October 28th, with a name being chosen and revealed on October 31st for our TMA Halloween special. The quest for the best name begins. Every year, the ACHS varsity volleyball team joins the entire country in its fight against breast cancer. On October 11th, the team dedicated its games to the Dig Pink program. At the same time, the team honored one of its own, Milan Rex, who reached the crazy career statistic of 1,000 kills. TMA segment producer Jackson Ryder and Griffin Magnus were at the scene. Hey Titans, it's October, and you know what that means. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We are here at the varsity volleyball game to celebrate Dig Pink, where both players and students alike dress up in this momentous color to spread awareness for breast cancer. But before we dive in, Milan Rex has her 1,000th hit, and we have a little pregame ceremony for her. Let's check it out. Uh, 
very special. She works really hard and it's just great to see her play and have fun. And we're very proud of her. Milan always keeps a high energy and plays aggressive on the court and she has a great impact for all of the seniors and also the younger kids. She's incredible. On top of celebrating the Milan, tonight also marks our annual Dig Pink game. So the Side Out Foundation uh, does this as a fundraiser for uh, volleyball and breast cancer. Um, this cause is actually really special to me um, personally just because it's really affected my life a lot. Um, so this is something that they started probably 15 years ago. So it's been very cool because I did it as a player in high school, um, a player in college, and now I'm doing it as a coach as well. Well, our Titans pulled out a great win today. More importantly, they showed their support for breast cancer awareness. I'm Griffin Magnus, and you're watching TMA. Thank you, Jackson and Magnus, for producing that package. Make sure to subscribe to TMA so you don't miss our next show, which will feature a live interview with Milan. Wow, what a fun show. Two packages to end off the week right. I guess that's it, so see you all next time, Titans. Bye. Nice try, but you're not getting out of this quiz. Oh, man. Can, can I at least use a calculator on the quiz? Sure. I don't have one. Uh, hold on. I feel a possession coming on. Uh, okay. Um, Go ahead. Uh, okay. Let's get into it then. Uh, what is the most optimal and size efficient candy you get during trick or treating? Kit Kats. Correct. Next question then. What is the most desirable number of people to group up with when trick or treating? More than one, but less than five. Most optimal is usually three, but largely depends on dew point average and total humidity of that morning. Correct. Very impressive. Next question What is the proper angle of approach when ringing a doorbell? 94 degrees if the door is gray or red, but 74 degrees if it's any other color. Correct again. Final question What would you do if you see a group of enemy kids at a house? Push them aside. Competition is stiff in today's trick or treat economy, and you can't let sympathy and common human decency get in the way of profits. Wow, correct. I was not expecting that, and honestly, it's a little bit concerning, but good job. <laughs> Who knew this whole possession thing could have its perks, right? See you all next time, Titans. My thumb. Oh, we may need to take a pee, a mid shoot pee break. All right. When did I mess up? You said their galleries instead of the galleries. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe I did mess up then. <laughs>